welcome our viewers. Uh, we are here in uh, Suneka, um, Bonchari constituency, Talang Center, uh, that is based here in Suneka town. And uh, here we joined by one of uh, the candidates under uh, the PED party. His name is uh, Omanwa. Maybe uh, Mwishimiwa, uh, how is uh, the day? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, first and foremost, I'm uh, Victor Omanwa, a uh, parliamentary candidate in this uh, by-election. I come from part of Economic Democracy Party. And so far, I've voted. Mm -hmm. I've voted in uh, Suneka polling station. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I've gone around all the, uh, some of the polling stations, but what I've witnessed is actually heavy and massive voter bribery mm -hmm. from these uh, big parties. Let me say Jubilee because uh, it's in public domain. You are aware some of the people were arrested in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, and and those people who were arrested uh, belong to Jubilee party? Jubilee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That is the under uh, candidate Sabede Opole. Mm -hmm. And uh, you are aware that some of these other stations, people are actually bribing, even in, 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 in uh, Nyangoge, mm -hmm. even Atiagas was actually uh, thrown mm -hmm. uh, to disperse those people. Mm -hmm. And this is really very wrong, and actually it really challenges the credibility of this election. Mm -hmm. Another thing I would want to highlight is that there is a ballot box that was found here in the morning. At, uh, this, this is at uh, this the Tiling Tiling Center. Tiling Center. Yes. yes. Uh, with the bearing names of uh, county, county assembly. Mm -hmm. How did that box come here? Mm -hmm. Because yesterday we were here, mm -hmm. we witnessed the opening of these ballot papers. Allegations are that the ballot box was found within the Tiling Center? Yes. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm saying I'm challenging the credibility mm -hmm. of IBC. Okay. Because as professionals, what I know is that we opened these uh, boxes yesterday. Mm -hmm. We witnessed. Mm -hmm. We saw one box was damaged, mm -hmm. but uh, that one didn't really raise a lot of alarm. Mm -hmm. But now the issue of uh, uh, another box mm -hmm. being uh, found here, mm -hmm. bearing names of counter assembly. Mm -hmm. How did, did that box come to all the way to this uh, to, uh, to, to this to this uh, Tarling Center? Tarling center? Uh -huh. And who brought it? Mm -hmm. What was the intentions? Mm -hmm. And uh, are marching the security uh, uh, agencies mm -hmm. to come in handy mm -hmm. and save the situation. So and also you are seeing the heavy presence of uh, policemen here. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy for that because earlier on there has been intimidation that uh, people are going to be, to be beaten, to be, to, be, to, be, to be intimidated so that they fought towards a, a certain particular candidate. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that what the government has done today, mm -hmm. the way I'm seeing these security officers here, it's like now the, we, the, 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 the voters are going to have their right to vote because people are going to come out in handy mm -hmm. to come and vote and because there is security mm -hmm. and the role of these officers is to protect them. Yeah. Yes. So people are, uh, have confidence uh, with the security um, uh, deployment. Yes. Uh, here yes. And they do not have any fear yes. uh, not to come out and vote. And I'm saying in the case if someone has, mm -hmm. get it from me, I'm a candidate and this is Bonchari where yes. I come from. Yes. I'm marching you come out and forth because these officers are here to protect you yes. from those goons who have been purporting to come and uh, maybe intimidate you people. Oh, besides uh, the incident that you just highlighted, is there any uh, incident again? Uh, so far, mm -hmm. what I've said, and let me repeat again, yes. there is voter bribery. Uh -huh. And I've also spoken on the cre credibility of this exercise, uh -huh. the integrity issues mm -hmm. of this uh, IB services. Mm -hmm. It really bring, it, 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 it really speaks volumes mm -hmm. when you see a ballot box mm -hmm. uh, uh, with other names, the count assembly, mm -hmm. because this is a by election, my brother. Mm -hmm. This by election was budgeted for mm -hmm. for all these candidates mm -hmm. of Bonchari. Mm -hmm. How now comes that there is a ballot box from the count assembly at, uh, at the Tiling Center here? Yes. You understand? Yes. Another thing. You can see when these badges, mm -hmm. let me say this, mm -hmm. you can see a badge here bearing the year 2019. Uh -huh. 11, uh, this is a month of, uh, uh, is it July? July, uh, July. 2019. 2019 yeah. Does it mean that this, this, this uh, uh, ancient code, mm -hmm. does, it mean that, uh, does it mean that this badge was made in 2019? Mm -hmm. Was 2019 a by-election in Bonchari? The, the, the by-election mm -hmm. is actually in 2021. Uh, 20, yes. You understand? Yes. So I'm challenging the credibility of this uh, uh, process, mm -hmm. because there is no way mm -hmm. we can have a batch of 2019 yes. in this by-election of Bonchari. Okay. Okay. So away from that, you've been campaigning and uh, um, you've done quite a lot, uh, probably for the people. Yes. What is your expectation? Of course, I'm coming out the winner. Mm -hmm. You have done a lot with these people. Mm -hmm. You know, having worked in government, mm -hmm. I've assisted my people here from this water sector. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot of projects in Bonchari here. Mm -hmm. 
I've assisted people even in uh, these schools in uh, giving them water tanks. Mm -hmm. uh, I've assisted uh, professionals here. Mm -hmm. We have our, 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 our social forums where we normally interact mm -hmm. and also meet and, and assist mm -hmm. the, young, the young professionals mm -hmm. who are coming out. Mm -hmm. And even in terms of uh, academic, mm -hmm. I've really supported our, our, our juniors. Mm -hmm. I've supported those people from uh, needy families mm -hmm. to an extent of even actually building homes for them. Mm -hmm. The other day, I, I, the last one I did in just uh, the airstrip here, yes. I went to a funeral and found out that there's uh, a that, that family, mm -hmm. they really don't have a, a, a place mm -hmm. to sleep. They don't have shelter. Mm -hmm. I had to go an extra mile and actually build them a, a very a simple house. Yeah. Okay. So I've done a lot to these people, yeah. and I'm expecting that the kind of leader which they need today mm -hmm. is Victor mm -hmm. Omano. Omano. Yes. And uh, which party? Part of economic democracy. And tell us a little bit about your party. This party uh, belongs to. Kisi community. Mm -hmm. As you are aware, ODM belongs to the, to the owners, mm -hmm. and let me not speak much about them. Okay. You know UDA where it comes from, mm -hmm. you know uh, uh, Jubilee where it comes from, mm -hmm. and this part of economic democracy basically mm -hmm. is for Kisis. Mm -hmm. As you see, we are going to uh, do a general election in 2022. Mm -hmm. When that time comes, mm -hmm. communities come together. Mm -hmm. Like now you see Waipa comes from uh, Ukambani. Mm -hmm. uh, you see uh, these uh, other parties like uh, 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 ODM comes from Luo, Luo mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. This UDA is from uh, 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 this side of our brothers, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Nandi, this side of Nandi. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, as much as they're having a an, an, an national image, mm -hmm. but through this, mm -hmm. who are the owners of this party? So this part of economic democracy belongs to Omogusi, mm -hmm. whereby when that time comes, mm -hmm. as a community, mm -hmm. on these people who are coming to seek votes, mm -hmm. as they want us as Omogusi to vote for them, mm -hmm. That is our house. Mm -hmm. That will we'll be having a platform to discuss how many positions are you going to give us as Omogusi. Mm -hmm. If they give us one cabinet position, maybe two uh, uh, CASs, or maybe three PS, mm -hmm. so it gives us a, a, a chance to, 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 to bargain. Mm -hmm. so that we Nationally? Yeah, nationally. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mwishimiwa Victor Manu. Yes. And uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, maybe you got something you want to say as your parting shot to the Bonchari electorate? Yes, of course. Yes. I'm appealing to my voters and our people of Bonchari at large to vote peacefully. And I wish and I'm requesting that let's have a peaceful uh, election today because at the end of the day, Bonchari is much bigger than any one of us. And at the end of the day, whoever comes, the winner, let's respect the will of the voters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much, much. Yeah. Mwishimiwa. Most Thank appreciate. You. Thank you. Uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you for um, your um, uh, conversation with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Wish you all. Thank you. Uh, tutaweza kuongea na wananchi ambao wako maala hapa. Waweza kutupatia maoni uh, jinsi ambao uchaguzi unabawendelea. Nataka kujua uh, yale ambayo na jiri hapa katika uh, kituo Tulling Center ya um, hapa Suneka ya Bonchari constituency. Kwa hivyo wacha tujue mama unasema jina yako na utoe maoni yako. Okay, thank you so much. Kwa majina naitwa Naomi Mora. Kwangu ni kule Kitutu cha South, huku ni kwetu kuzaliwa. Mm -hmm. Lakini kadi yangu nimeshikia huku huku nyumbani. Mm -hmm. Mimi maoni yangu ni haya. Tupige kura kwa utaratibu. Kama mimi mwenyewe nimekuja kuchagua mheshimiwa mwenye mwenye napenda. Mm -hmm. Sitaki ni rasimishwe. Na situpigane mara huyu, mara tupigane mamba ya chama. Chama sio kitu. Kama ni kujagua, tuchagwe mweshimiwa mwenye mpendae. Mimi vile nimeona, pinye, vile nimepita pita, sijaona mapaya yoyote. But nimesikia kuna watu wachupiru wameshikwa kwenye wameshikwa, but we don't care. But tukona imani, tutachagua mweshimiwa mwenye tunataka, na mweshimiwa already mungu wa memchagua. Na umeshudia uh, mambo yoyote uh, ya voter bribery ama umepewa hongo na yoyote? Hata mi mwenye vile nimepita, sijaona pesa ya hota, lakini nimesikia huko mashinani, kila mahali ya tipesa inapeanwa. Mm -hmm. Pati mi mwenye sijaona. Mm -hmm. Yenye sijaona, sitaki kuzema nimeona. Mm -hmm. Ajo ni masikio, ni masikio, kisea meti pesa sinapeanwa huku nyuma nyuma kwa mba backstreet. Mm -hmm. Pati mi nasema hivi. Pesa, uwezi patua shilingi ya msini, iende kukusaidia mbeleni. Tuchagwe kiongozi mwenye atakuja kusaidia maishani mwetu. Okay. Ya, yeah. lakini ya subui ni kiwa hapa, mi mwenye wa niliamukia subui. Nikaona Bairot imeandikuwa hapa. Situ account ya sembo, ikipita hivi, mm. mwana umemoja ameshika na sikali ya kiwa nyuma. Mm. Ilikuwa embu, pati hiyo tujajua mana yake ilikuwa gani? Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Sawa, na shukuru sana. Kwa majina ndemu kenu yambane, mii ni mukaji wapa suneka. 
Niamuka asubuhi na mapema nimepiga kura yangu hapa pia mi ni agent. Uh, kitu pekee nimeshangaa kwa siku zote. Mm-hmm. Agent, pekee agent wa jam, chama gani? Wa UDA, UDA. Uda, yes. uh, mi ni agent wa UDA. Okay. Lakini kitu nimeshangaa kwamba mm-hmm. uh, kwa miaka yote leo ndio nimeona watu turnout ya mm-hmm. voters iko chini sana. Mm-hmm. Na hii turnout iko chini sana kwa sababu watu wanaogopa maskari mm-hmm. uh, wananchi hawajafundishwa ya kwamba maskari wanajiunga wananchi mm-hmm. wanafikiri ya kwamba ukiona askari mm-hmm. wanaona adui mm-hmm. sasa watu wengi leo hawajaonekana kwa kituo kupiga kura mm-hmm. lakini kwa sasa hivi mm-hmm. mambo iko sawa mi kitu ningeomba watu wa media mm-hmm. tukienda kuhesabu huko kura huko kwa Tallinn center mm-hmm. ambayo itakuwa kwa CDF hall hapa sunaka mm-hmm. mkoo huko mmulike kitu mm-hmm. kuri yesapiwe moja kwa moja mm-hmm. na mshindi apatikane mm-hmm. hakitendeke Asante sana. Asante sana. Nashukuru sana. Tuko hapa katika uh, Tallinn Center upande wa Suneka. Uh, hii ndio Tallinn Center ya Bonchari Constituency na kura zote zitakapopigwa zitaletwa hapa. Hapa uh, ndio watajumuisha matokeo ya kura zote na kwa hivyo tutaendelea uh, kuwaletea mengi hapo uh, baadaye. Uh, wacha kidogo tuende uh, sehemu nyingine uh, we will get back uh, to you with more uh, news thank you we are here at uh, gasero uh, uh, polling station at uh, gasero primary school and uh, here we have uh, one of the candidates uh, by the name john ondieki and uh, is uh, uh, here with uh, some of uh, his uh, supporters from around this place maybe we could talk to one or two and then uh, we get uh, to talk to Mweshimiwa John Ondieki uh, to give us his views as uh, far as uh, this uh, by-election is concerned. Uh, maybe you could tell us your name, uh, where you come from, and if, in case you voted, and, uh, you know, the progress of uh, uh, the election uh, yeah, that is ongoing. You. Thank you so much uh, for the estate. Mm-hmm. My name is Honorable Philip Obote Motonu, um, former member of Council Assembly of Kisi, 2013-2017. Yeah, in fact, uh, uh, I woke up very early in the morning this, uh, this day, and uh, I had to vote at uh, uh, Eturete Primary School. Yeah, uh, what I can say is that uh, the exercise is going on well. Uh, th- there are no uh, bad incidences, uh, and uh, the only problem we have at uh, various polling stations is that uh, just very few people are coming out to... Voter to, turnout is Yeah, low. it's very, very low. All right. What, yeah. what, what do you think is the reason? Uh, you see, this is a by-election. Uh, uh, many of the voters do not uh, take it serious uh, as a general election. Yeah, and uh, as I can put it, in, in a general election, you see there are uh, quite a number of uh, people who are fi- vying for various uh, positions. So... Uh, one can come out to, uh, to come and vote because of uh, a, a governor, uh, because of a senator. And in the process uh, yeah, vote for, yeah, for yeah, a, member, uh, of a m- member of parliament. All right, what uh, do you tell uh, the Bonchari people um, uh, now that they are electing a, a leader? Yeah, the, the only urge I can uh, pass across is that uh, let them come out in large numbers. Yeah, to, to decide on who is going to be their uh, area MP. You see, if, if, if one tries to stay at home, then you, you are going to be chosen a, a, a person uh, perhaps you, you may not want. A wrong person. Yeah, a wrong person you may not want. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mweshimiwa. Yeah. We most appreciate uh, your uh, contribution. Yeah. Let us also hear from uh, one of uh, um, uh, the supporters of uh, Jonah. Uh, to also give us his opinion. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, my name is uh, Cosma Sayeko. I'm a constituent of uh, this land. And I want to take this opportunity first to thank the people of Wanjari for coming out to choose a leader of their choice. But again, to say we also uh, shun any form of uh, bribery and acts of uh, hooliganism that can be expressed anywhere. And I want to say that our people are quite calm and also to urge those who have not voted to come out in large number and vote. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, any incidents, uh, ugly incident uh, that uh, you've heard of or witnessed? Not today, mm-hmm. but uh, like uh, two days ago, yes. we had uh, acts of uh, hooliganism mm-hmm. and uh, acts of uh, intimidations mm-hmm. from all sorts, of, uh, including maybe some uh, rumors from the government. Yes. But we want to be very categorical that the people of Wanjari are calm people and they don't need to be intimidated to vote. They will vote a candidate of their choice. 
And if you look at this place, you can see how development are behind. Therefore, we want to choose someone on bribery, or, or best not, not on bribery, but based on uh, character and based on uh, competence. Therefore, I want to urge our people today to reject any form of bribery. If someone will come to bribe you, say no. I want to choose a leader who will uh, uh, redeem this constituency back to its, its former glory. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much, uh, Mr. Yeko. Yes. And uh, we are here at uh, Gesero, and uh, here we have uh, one of the candidates under the TND party, uh, Mwishimiwa John Ondieki. how is the day? The day is going well. Uh, I've just cast my vote mm -hmm. at Kirina Polling Station, mm -hmm. which actually is my former primary school where I went to. Mm -hmm. uh, this area is my stronghold. Mm -hmm. uh, as of now, the turnout is about 37%, mm -hmm. even, even what I've shown as in the PM's kit. So it's encouraging because we are now at uh, past noon. Mm -hmm. So we hope that the, the turnout is going to increase to maybe 50 or 60 percent. Well, what do you think is the reason as to why the voter turnout is a little bit low? I wouldn't say it's, it is voter apathy. I would say because it's just a by-election. Mm -hmm. Because in general elections, we have various candidates mm -hmm. who campaign differently. So when somebody comes, they may have an intention of voting for an MCA or a member of parliament, mm -hmm. but they end up also casting a vote for the president and so on. Mm -hmm. So in that case, you get more voter turnout. But from the campaigns we have done, the media focus that you guys have done, mm -hmm. it, it appears like we are going to have a very uh, impressive, impressive uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is there any ugly incident uh, that has been uh, witnessed so far? No, last night there were reports of uh, some candidates gathering people and giving them money. Mm -hmm. You know, voter, uh, voter, voter buying. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our people around the community mm -hmm. who are good citizens. Mm -hmm. And we told them that we, we, have, we, we, we can initiate citizens, citizens arrest. Mm -hmm. So the rumor went around and they had to flee. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the morning there were a few incidents whereby also uh, some agents and elements of these um, other candidates trying to buy voters. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one we have also repulsed them and discouraged them. Okay. So what I urge my supporters, all the people of Bonchari, to come out in large numbers. Mm -hmm. Vote, mm -hmm. vote, vote. Mm -hmm. We need to get a new leader. We need to sign a new deal mm -hmm. uh, for Bonchari. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Mwishimiwa John and Yeki. Mm -hmm. We wish you all the best. Thank you. And uh, Tell we me. are looking forward, uh, uh, maybe by the time they will be announcing the leader, mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is going to happen? What is the uh, imminent uh, news? Uh, the thing is, this is a hotly contested uh, yes, position. Yes. We have no idea who's going to win this election. Mm -hmm. But we have four front runners. We are one of them. Mm -hmm. In the four, I'm one of the... Front front runner. So I expect that I will do very well okay. and I expect to win. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's what I can say. All right, most yeah. appreciated. Thank you. Here we joined uh, by uh, a lady. Maybe she will tell us her name, uh, where she, she, she votes or if she's voted, and uh, how the day uh, is so far. Okay, thank you so much. One thing I want to say that this is an historical election, a by election in Bonchari. For the first time, you're going to elect a woman as an MP. So I want to say thank you so much to our people. Number one, I'm calling people to come out in big numbers, especially the ladies, to come and support our own lady. Yeah. Who is that lady? Maybe the lady is, her, um, her, name. her name is uh, Mrs. Oyoka mm -hmm. Oro. Mm -hmm. And um, we just have nine months to go. Mm -hmm. Ladies, kindly come out. Mm -hmm. Let us support this lady mm -hmm. to go the race. She has run ahead of us to open a door for us to walk. So, so far, any ugly incidences that have been reported? Uh, how is the progress of uh, uh So far, the places that have been able to go around, mm -hmm. the process is swift, it's smooth, mm -hmm. security is dipped very well. Mm -hmm. I haven't had much of uh, challenges apart from one station mm -hmm. where one person was caught up mm -hmm. dishing out money. Mm -hmm. yeah. So voter bribery? Voter bribery, okay. that's one of the instances that I've been able to see. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, thank you very much. We yeah. wish you all the best and yeah. uh, uh, wish you your candidate. Thank you so uh, much. Best. This is my polling station and I'm right away headed to vote the okay. lady in. Thank right. you so much. Thank you very much. We most yeah. appreciate it. You are We are here in uh, uh, Karina, a polling station within uh, Bonchari constituency. And uh, here we have uh, various uh, uh, people from uh, within this locality. Uh, to shed some light on uh, what is going on in uh, the ongoing uh, uh, by-election. So maybe you can tell us where you come from, your name, and uh, where you voted. Uh, my name is Harrison Omega Mariga. I come from Bonchari constituency, from Renda Ward, from Mwancha Subdication. Eh? My polling station is uh, Ikerubo polling station, eh? number 022. Uh, we are dismayed. Eh? Mm -hmm. At the time of events are happening around eh, mm -hmm. since the by-election date was given. Mm -hmm. 
we're seeing a lot of resources, government resources, government officers, senior government officers moving around. Mm -hmm. Police officers are being misused, mm -hmm. raped right and center. Mm -hmm. A lot of orders from above. Mm -hmm. The leaders that we are really propagated is like uh, them being waiting. Honorable mm -hmm. Pavel Imeke mm -hmm. has been arrested. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the warrant of arrest was issued yesterday. Mm -hmm. Them knowing very well this guy is about to vote today. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're going to sworn in, we are going to, he's going to be announced in absentia. Mm -hmm. We are, we are so not so happy the way things are happening. Mm -hmm. We have had initial, initial by elections in Kenya, mm -hmm. but I've, I've, I'm just surprised mm -hmm. the synergies that, that are put towards the, the Bonjadi by election. Mm -hmm. We've never seen it before. Yeah. We're simply asking mm -hmm. why do voters not be given their chance mm -hmm. to choose uh, an, an MP? Of their favorite. We've been to a number of uh, polling stations and uh, information that we've gathered is that uh, uh, there is low voter turnout. What do you think could be the reason as to why uh, we are, you are experiencing or there is low voter turnout? One reason that could have led to low voter turnout is eh, mm -hmm. the, the by election is on a, a weekday. Mm -hmm. Two, mm -hmm. people are not, the, the way the government has sent resources, mm -hmm. the engineering direction of uh, one Sebedeo or Pole. Mm -hmm. People have been in, informed in advance. You fought for Pavel Uimeke, we will sue in on a opole. Mm -hmm. That is arrogance of the highest order. Mm -hmm. We can't suffocate that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So people have already been told that. People have been uh, told even if you fought for Pavel Uimeke, mm -hmm. our, our person to be uh, to be sworn in is on a opole. How? Mm -hmm. You know, in a scenario where you have hundred students in a class, telling, uh, the system, the, 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 deep state, the deep state, the deep state, who are their representatives the deep state. The Actually, I want to sit here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to quote C.S. Matiang. Yes. C.S. Matiang has a community where he comes from. Mm -hmm. C.S. Matiang has grown where he is because of a community. Mm -hmm. These people who were supporting Matiang before, who were elected leaders, eh, mm -hmm. Matiang is against them. Mm -hmm. We're simply saying, when Matiang will come back to Kisi, mm -hmm. he will need a vote in future, or he wants an extra post. You will not get it, because mm -hmm. people are simply asking, mm -hmm. what has Honorable given C.S. Matiangi mm -hmm. To put so much resources like this. But I see as Matiangi come to the ground to campaign in favor of uh, uh, Opore. When you see, when you see, when you see chiefs and sub chiefs giving orders mm -hmm. to common Manaingi that we want Sebedo Opore, mm -hmm. I, actually, I want to ask a simple question. Opore is an ordinary man. Mm -hmm. he, has met, he has been a member of parliament for 15 years. Yes, eh? yes. He has enough resources mm -hmm. to move around. Mm -hmm. Opore is given resources. He's given security. Mm -hmm. He's not a government official. Myself, I'm not a I don't have a firearm. He does not have one, but he's surrounded mm -hmm. by people with firearms. Yeah. Well, simply asking, mm -hmm. in one scenario, mm -hmm. in, in a class of 100 students, mm -hmm. if a student is performing uh, last 100, mm -hmm. so a teacher will realize this, this, this pupil or students moving slowly, mm -hmm. he puts some effort. Eh? Yeah, yeah. So the much this student can move, he can move from 100, 98, 97. Mm -hmm. So if a teacher puts more effort, eh, mm -hmm. the, this student can improve. Mm -hmm. He can improve to 90. If he has more effort, eh, mm. he cannot go to number one. Mm. You, you cannot talk about, you know, I can equip a poor as a student, a poor performing student. So could you say that uh, there is uh, no level playground? In there is no the level playing ground. There is no level playing ground because mm. we realize eh, mm. the people of the poor side are teaching money everywhere. Mm. I'm seeing senior government officials mm -hmm. here. Okay. They are teaching money, like in Aikerubo, mm -hmm. people are teaching money, people are taking ideas here. Mm -hmm. It was all over in the media, in, in Igonga. Mm -hmm. I have a clip I can show you. Mm -hmm. We have a, someone who, has, uh, who was uh, dishing money, mm -hmm. Sebedeo Poli. Mm -hmm. So we, what we're simply asking and requesting mm -hmm. the government. Mm -hmm. You know, CS Matiangi mm -hmm. is the government interior. Mm -hmm. CS, mm -hmm. in charge of interior. Yes. Kindly. Mm -hmm. I don't want to speak the mm -hmm. You are getting it wrong. Yes. You're getting it wrong from the start. Mm -hmm. You are getting it wrong to the last. Okay. Get back to the people. Mm -hmm. The people who are advising you of late, mm -hmm. get back to the ruling board. Right. But let me tell you for, for free, take it to the bank. Yes. Uh, Honorable Paveri Obuoto Imeke is the MP erect. People will speak loud and clear. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. We really appreciate uh, Let us have uh, some uh, uh, opinion from uh, other people that are here. Maybe we will talk to uh, Demze here so that he can uh, give us uh, uh, his thoughts about uh, uh, the ongoing by election. My name is uh, Reverend Tom Ogonge, and I'm in Kerina polling station. I'm a resident of this area. And uh, since morning, I passed to two or three polling stations, seeing what is taking place. But when I was here in Karina, there came at a certain time, at a, uh, the morning hours, two members of parliament that I may not quote, mm -hmm. who came around, one from Gucha and another one from Nyamira, 
And they came here and they were talking to agents. And when we followed this matter, we saw that there was some kind of irregularities that wanted to take place. So some of the youths that were around, and I in particular, and packed it together and we chased those, those members of parliament away. And uh, what I wanted to say is that this has been common. And when we asked these uh, uh, vehicles that were in the ground, they were taken photos and it was discovered that they have been seen in about three, four polling stations uh, doing funny exercises. So what we are pleading is that if Bonchard has to hear, it has to have fair uh, by election. Free so from, of corruption. From what you uh, have witnessed, would you say there is a level playground for every candidate uh, that is involved in these uh, elections? Not all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Not all. Some. Mm -hmm. You know there is money power mm -hmm. to some mm -hmm. who have that capability mm -hmm. of buying uh, voters mm -hmm. on the streets, mm -hmm. in the homes and everywhere. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is really mandate mm -hmm. is that we want somebody elected by the people themselves, mm -hmm. somebody who can perform, and do things to the people. Yes. So what we are pleading to the government, mm -hmm. whether it is the government officers, whether it is unknown or people of uh, a stand, mm -hmm. we want to have one thing in Bonchari, a fair by-election. Election. Thank you very much, um, Mze, for your honest opinion. Yes. And uh, we uh, wish you all the best. Yeah. And uh, we hope uh, that uh, there will, it will be a very peaceful day. Yeah. And uh, we won't uh, experience any form or, or any commotion uh, within uh, Kerina as it has been calm and you've rightly indicated that. Yeah. Yes. To finish. Yes. I don't want to say I am for who and who. Yes. But we want to declare that Bonchari will give out a leader. Yes. Whether young <coughs> or old we accept that one has been elected. Yes. We don't want to say about who is who mm -hmm. or what is he has done, mm -hmm. but we want a fair leader mm -hmm. who has been elected by the people. Thank you Thank very you much, Mze. We really appreciate it. Uh, maybe we've got an, one more youth here who will uh, briefly tell us his name, where he comes from, and uh, probably where he's voted, uh, so that uh, then uh, we can move uh, to the next polling station. Thank you so much, our viewers, uh, for staying put and uh, keep watching us. So, uh, what is your name, sir? Yes, I'm Gideon Machoka. Yes. A voter of Bonchari, uh, Kerina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saddened with, with what is happening around. Mm -hmm. People are intimidated all over. Mm -hmm. uh, our security is not insured. It seems that, that the government is supporting one person. Uh, I think now, the referee, mm -hmm. the is referee it, is, of the is game. Is just a perception? Uh, do no, we have any ugly incident uh, no. within uh, Kerina polling station? No. Mm -hmm. From the outlook, you can see that the government is trying to favor a certain candidate. Mm -hmm. if, for, for instance, I'm not, I'm, I cannot say the person I'm supporting for now. Mm -hmm. You have heard that uh, Oimeka has been arrested. Mm -hmm. You know, arresting somebody mm -hmm. during the 14th day, mm -hmm. it is a clear indication that the government is manipulating mm -hmm. this election. Mm -hmm. And we, as the youths, we are not going to sit and watch. Mm -hmm. As the youths, we are waiting for the results. But God will give us the leader. At the long last, God will decide who is going to win this election. Yes. We know the government is debating us. And that's why you are seeing that the voter turnout, turnout is low mm -hmm. compared to the general election. Well, what do you think is the reason why the voter turnout is low? It's because people are fearing. People, people are fearing. Are, yeah. Fearing you know, seeing police all over. Mm -hmm. you, you think like it's an, a, 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 a national election, a presidential election. Yes. People are fearing mm -hmm. for their lives. Mm -hmm. Actually, others are at their homes. They, can, they cannot go to polling station because they fear maybe they will be chased away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. We most appreciate uh, uh, your contribution and uh, your honest opinion with regard to what is happening in uh, uh, the ongoing Bonchari by-election. Uh, we will be back. Thank you so much for following us. This is uh, Talma World Media. We are going round uh, across uh, Bonchari constituency uh, to have uh, opinion from uh, people on uh, the ongoing uh, uh, by-election. And uh, here we are joined uh, by one of the candidates in uh, this by-election. His name is uh, Charles Mogaka. Charles Mogaka, how are you? Oh, fine, thank you. How is uh, the day, uh, the campaigns, and uh, how is uh, uh, generally the day and the uh, people voting? Oh, my name is uh, Charles Lege. Uh, I'm one of the candidates mm -hmm. from uh, Progressive Party of Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, what I can say is that the campaign ended in two days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the election is so peaceful. Mm -hmm. You see how people go and vote. And we thank God that there's uh, no rainy. People are uh, so happy. So I. I see a win here. 
Okay. Yes. You have uh, confidence in uh, your people that they will elect you to become member of parliament uh, for the next uh, close to a year before we uh, get to 2022 uh, election? Of course, of course. If, if you see the moods of these people is that they want a new leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. since I was born here and raised here, mm -hmm. I have a full confidence. I've been fighting uh, two times now. This is the third time, and I have a dream for these people. Mm -hmm. If you see the, the big political parties, they are not even moving around. They, they are worshipping their own money, but uh, we worship a true God who, who make change to these people. Okay. Is mm -hmm. there any ugly incident that has so far been witnessed? Uh, so far, I've not witnessed any problem from both my camp and my colleagues' camp. Mm -hmm. But uh, the incident I've witnessed that the people have come out to vote for me. And I did not even imagine. Mm -hmm. For Lear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so most of the people, the only incident that you can report to our viewers is that more people have come out to vote for you. Uh, I think this is being test of leadership. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you see the, the way people are walking, the poverty rates, people are really voting a protest vote against the big two parties. Because okay. these are the same people who left this constituency and in terms of economy. From Atoke, of course. Of is course. That's what you say. <laughs> All they right. have left this constituency for, for the, the, it's an economical sabotage for the three big parties, mm -hmm. the big parties. Mm -hmm. People have understood on how power is uh, is sweeter for themselves. Mm -hmm. They are the same people who left the constituency the way it is. If you see young kids walk to school, they are barefooted. Mm -hmm. They are the same people who feel that they need to read. For 15 years, I think that was... It is time uh, for the youth. It is time for change. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe just to uh, finish up with you, because I know you are going uh, across uh, your constituency and you got a long way to go. Uh, what do you have to tell uh, the people of uh, Bonchari constituency? Uh, what I can say is that I will thank the government of Uru Kenyatta, the president of the head of state. Mm -hmm. He's a very good guy who understands what they need. Mm -hmm. We have good security systems because right now I'm protected because the same security it has protected me the same security it has protected our people uh, look about the CS Matiang it's really concerned one of the candidates has been arrested and uh, uh, earlier on we were talking to people and they say you know some are complaining uh, what do you have to say about that because one of uh, uh, the candidates uh, uh, Pavel Onyek has been arrested. Is there anything you can say about it? I think those are rumors. When those are the, the kicks of a dying horses. How can you be arrested by human being? Police are human beings. So something he was doing fishy. That's why he was arrested. Why not be? So let them come and arrest me because they know I'm doing genuine things. Yes. If I win, I win genuinely. If I lose, I lose genuinely. Yes. Yeah. So if you see people complaining about losing or intimidations, those are people who want to run away from election. I've been in this game for the last two decades. Mm -hmm. So I have full confidence that this is the right decision that people are going to make. Yes. Oseko, you're my friend. And you understand this? Thank you very Thank much. You we most appreciate uh, Matoke, Honorable, and Thank we wish you all the best. Let's uh, meet in the evening at the Tallings. Center.